In this session, you will see how to create this amazing employee database management system using Google Sheets. This employee database management system is divided into four layers. Here is the search panel. This is the employee display panel. This is the employee list panel. And the last one is the employee edit panel. In search panel, you can filter the employee records on various aspects. For example, when I select the active employee status, you can notice immediately the employee list is getting updated with the active employee list. And you can see when I change the employee status to resigned, immediately the employee list is getting updated with the resigned employee details. Likewise, you can also filter the record by branch. Like when I click on Chennai, you can see only the Chennai employees are getting updated. And when I change the branch to Madurai, it is getting updated to the Madurai employees. Also, you can filter the record using a goal. You can also filter by department. And finally, you can filter the employee details using their joining date by entering the from and to data. Immediately when you enter some details, the employee list is getting updated instantly. You can also filter the data using the employee birthday. And coming to employee list panel, you can see, you can view 10 employee records on one stretch. And if you want to view the next 10 employee records, you can click on this next page button and immediately the list is getting changed to the next 10 records. And by clicking the previous page button, the list will go back to the previous 10 records. You can also jump to any of the pages by entering the page number over here. The list will get updated to that particular page. And coming to this four special icons, the first one is the view icon. If you click on this view icon, that particular employee will get highlighted in green color and immediately the employee details will get updated in the employee display panel. And using this delete icon, you can delete any employee record. Once I click on the delete icon, you can see that the employee is being highlighted in red color. And if you don't want to see this deleted employee in the employee list, you can just unselect the checkbox given and above like when you unselect this checkbox you won't see the deleted employee record in the employee list if i check this box again the deleted employee will be displayed in the list but it will be highlighted in red color you can also restore the deleted employee record back to the database by using this restore button once i click on this restore button you can notice that particular employee was being removed from the remote employee list. And coming to employee display panel, you can see the employee details over here like the employee age, date of birth, this, the contact number, everything. And you can see the employee photograph over here. If you want to move to the next employee record, you can click on this next button and the employee display will be getting updated to the next employee record. And clicking on this previous button, the employee record will go to the previous record. And the last one is the edit employee record. And if you want to edit any employee record, you can just click on this edit icon. And once you click on the edit icon, immediately that particular employee details will get updated in the edit employee panel. And if I make any changes in any of the field, like if I edit the employee name, you can notice that particular field is being highlighted in red color since we made some changes over here. 
this will be highlighted in red color until we save this edited portion in our master record. You can make changes on any of these fields and once you make all the changes, you can click on this save button and when you click on this save button, you can notice I am getting a message edited record saved successfully and here in our employee display panel you can notice the employee name was been corrected as per the edited record. You can also edit the employee photograph by clicking on this link. And once you click on this link, it will redirect to a Google form. You can add the new employee photograph over here by clicking the add file button. Select the employee photograph. and click on upload now i have not submitted the form and coming back to the employee database management file you can see currently we have this photograph now when i click on the submit button you can see immediately in our employee database management system the new photograph is updated instantly And finally, to add a new employee to our database, you can just click on this link and it will redirect to a Google form. And here you can update the new employee details like the employee name, gender, contact number, email ID. You can fill up all the details. After filling up all the details, you can click on the submit button and once you click on the submit button, immediately that particular employee record will get updated to our employee list in the employee database management system. That's all about the overview of the employee database management system. In the upcoming videos, we will learn how to create this employee database management system step by step using Google Sheet, Google Form and Google Apps Script. You can create a copy of this dashboard by just paying 6 US dollars. Even though I am anyway going to teach you the step by step process of how to create this amazing employee database management system, I would suggest you to keep a copy of this template for your reference and better understanding when you apply these techniques in your real time projects. On account of my website launch lazinessinexcel.com, I am offering you a 50% discount on purchasing this product. So you can buy it by just paying 3 US dollars only. Don't miss this amazing offer since it is only for a limited period. Don't forget to visit my website lazinessandexcel.com and consider subscribing the newsletter for getting notified on all latest courses. If you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe to laziness and excel. Thanks for watching.